Hi, back again. I um, wanted to tell you a little bit more about the cell. First, I think I'll do a reading for you. Um, so, go ahead and plug it in, hit my stopwatch. Okay. So, we're getting our gas flow. around 25 amps, 11.3, and we're producing some gas. Um, let's see if we can catch it when the bubble comes out. And we got 58 seconds, which uh, I'm very happy with. Yeah. Right around 11.3, just like before. 25 amps. So uh, I think my MMW is staying about where I want it to. I um, wanted to say a little bit about my cell and how uh, uh, I made the plates the way I did very specifically because um, zero fossil fuel um, says that a taller cell is more efficient. Um, it says it's like a chimney. So I made my plates three and a quarter by eight and a half um, minus my gaskets. Uh, I was trying to seal off the ends here, you know, by making my gaskets this way, but I've noticed that I don't have a perfect seal at this top part of this, and the camera might be picking it up. I have some bubbles coming up. So, um, that's why there's water there in the front, or I was hoping there wouldn't be. Um, I also am using 16 gauge. Uh, 304 stainless steel. Uh, first off, because somebody donated some to me, so it was free. And secondly, uh, the idea was that um, that uh, it'd be like thicker gauge wire. Um, that the thicker gauge may not conduct as much heat as the thinner gauge plates would, uh, therefore keeping it cool. Um, this has been running for about a half hour, and it's only lukewarm to the touch. Um, but I only have 2.3 volts per plate division, I believe. Um, and I think uh, that that will prove to be the key to my design. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you... Uh, I have terrible connections right now. Um, obviously, these Krippon or uh, alligator clip terminals are junk. Um, I watched a uh, EBN video with uh, Scarecrow, and uh, he showed how to uh, solder these wires together. And uh, I am learning how to solder, so I don't know if the camera will really pick that up too well. Maybe. Um, so anyway, I'm using 8 gauge wire, and I couldn't find any uh, female connectors to go with 8 gauge, eight, eight gauge wire, so uh, I just took some 10 gauge and I stripped everything off and I bent the uh, prongs out to where they would accept the bigger wire and then uh, lightly crimped them on and I soldered them on and uh, um, and then once I put them on my on my plates I will solder them to the plates also 
Um, so I wanted to throw a question out there when soldering this other end, because I'm going to join my wires to the other wire, should I use a piece of metal to crimp it, or should I just straight solder it? Um, so if anybody has any input, let me know. Here is an example of uh, one of my donated pieces, which I'm going to put in service here soon. Um, and then I picked this up for about 15, I think it was like 13 bucks. This is, uh, again, the uh, 16 gauge uh, stainless steel, 304, because that's all I can find around here without ordering it. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a foot by a foot. And I can get uh, four plates out of a, a square foot. Um, the other thing I noticed is I have cracks in my container around my barb fitting. And I think that's going